cock and ball. Wait, this, the name of this quest is cock and ball? Did you guys see that? Are you kidding me? The name of this quest is cock and ball. Dude, Square Enix, are you kidding me? What? Slay thorny thistles at Kurtil Falls. The finest Freaking silks from the master weavers of Randela. Come. This is probably the best game that's come out last. I don't know how many games. It's it's sausage, all from greens fed farm birds. None of the old courses you'll find elsewhere. Here, take a bite. <laughs> Chocobo steaks. I've got peppers and peas, beans and beets. If it goes in a pot, I've got the love. Curatives, restoratives, all you like, sir. It's all fresh. Palmatives, curatives, restoratives. Unguents, ointments, poultices. Might I interest you in a potion, my lady? Perhaps a soothing salve to ease the aches of the road? Sorry. I wish you well, but may the mothers guide you. Palmatives, curatives, restoratives, unguents, ointments, poultices. Palmatives, curatives, restoratives. Medicine girl. Can you tell us about medicine girl? An orphan girl who pays for her bread by making and selling medicines. Turns out Orphan Medicine Girl is the dominant of, it's like... good to see you, Sid. I don't know. <laughs> what have we learned? Dominant of Knights of the Round Table. I don't know. <sighs> the bearers are locked up in an old courthouse on the edge of Wait, town. did it just say five years later whenever I looked away? And I hardly need tell you who is there to make sure they I stay. looked away for, like, three seconds. Did it say five years later? Okay. Hello, Mr. Is hey. Fanned. Hello. Square Enix here. We are glad that you are enjoying our pre-recorded game so far. <laughs> Don't forget to act like you are playing, having fun and beating the enemies skillfully. More compliments would be good. The agreed payment is on the way too. Yeah, I'm, I'm reading the script here. I'm, ran, I'm running out. Uh, also, I, I ran out of the... Were you guys going to pay me for the sponsor or no? <laughs> <laughs> it's a trap. And not a very good one at that. Another. What does he hope to gain? Okay, from Jill this? and Clive are here. I'll have the captives free before nightfall. You do nothing of the sort. Our comrades didn't give their lives for you to get your throat slit in a god's forsaken slum. So those in the courthouse should be left to suffer. That's not what I said. I simply meant it doesn't have actually, to be you dude, actually who freeze them. Freaking everybody else got a sponsor for this but me. They, here's a, here's a problem. Square knows that I'm gonna play this. They know, they like they know I'm gonna like freaking be gushing over this game. Damn it all! You're as stubborn as the old Sid was. So I play the game. The game plays me. That's just how it works, man. Wait, did he call him Sid? Don't say. Am I crazy? Did I just hear that? I didn't warn you. You're Sid now, and if anything happens to him, we're finished. Yeah, and he doesn't have the mark on his face. Bro, you haven't changed your clothes in five years, both of you? Freaking same armor, five years. Same robes, five years. Dog, same fur, five years. Please, we don't know anything. You have to believe us. We'd help you if we could. But you're helping us already. <laughs> same joke, five years. 
Jack, let me get a salad. I started this fight with to offend. Quiet, you! No sign of Hugo. I'll wager he thinks as highly of his minions' traps as we do. Then this should be easy. Don't hurt us. I beg of you. Quiet means quiet, branded scum. <laughs> It's going to be all right. Oh, nice. Thanks, Mango Frost, for the $3. We have hype chats now. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? It's him. The outlaw. Sit here. Dude, this is so good. Go, oh, summon the others. The bear is safe. Power of Thunder. Clive has claimed a portion of the icon Rama's essence. Ramu. Attuning with Ramu. Attuning with Raman not only changes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spells but also allows access to several new iconic abilities, such as Thunderstorm. Okay. Wait, what? Wait, what? How does that work? How does Blind Justice work? Thunderstorm? Oh, hey! Oh, you, oh, you lock and then you hit it again. So you get up to six of them, probably. And then probably what I do is you probably attack off of it. And it probably does some kind of like, oh, there it is. It's like a charge. Dude, okay, that's sick. That's sick. That's sick. That's sick. Enough of this. Let him play with the kitten. They brought a pet. Mm. Oh? You'll pay for what you've done, Sid. Those things are fast. We'll have to be faster. Republican War Panther. Precision Dodge? Roll the Whites? I'm gouging, I'm gouging, I'm gouging, I'm gouging. File drive. Thunderstorm. Ignition into the stagger. Rising flames. This one. 19,000 stagger damage, dude. Precision dodge times two. Savage. Oh, okay. Okay, roll the whites. This guy was just like not hit. Ignition! Dude. Why am I, why is my timing on? Nice! Republican Warpanther slain. 
Saving ult for Final Fantasy 17. Hey, you never know. Maybe I can start the game with it. Lightning Shard. Lightning Shard. To hell with this. <laughs> Savage Charizard, you called me? They'll tell Hugo. Let them. There's been more than enough bloodshed for one day. Murderer. All of our friends are dead because of you. Do you hear me? They used us as bait. Bait to lure you out of your stinking hole. All because you couldn't just let things be. Your hole is stinking? What are you even doing here? We never asked to be saved. Did you think we'd thank you? This is chat when s man ends stream. Us. We're all marked now. <laughs> huh? <laughs> For fuck. Men of the Rock? Hugo Kepka's personal guard. Okay, that's Hugo's guard. Jill, Domino to Shiva. Uh, five years have now passed since the fall of Drake's head, and she and Clive continue to sit mission to emancipate the bears. Hold on. A person with the power to cast magic without a crystal, and Valestia, a man and woman who awaken as bears, are enslaved, branded with a mark on their cheek uh, that leads to some called pejorative moniker branded. Though their powers do not begin to... Wait, can we get banned for saying that? Though their powers do not begin to approach those of the almighty dominance, they too suffer from the crystal's curse, gradually turning to stone over a lifetime of channeling ether for others. Oh. Hasn't sealed the deal in five years. Dude, that is his adopted sister, okay? Uh, cool, let's continue. Five years we fought to secure a better life for our kind. To see that we are treated as equals. Do you not want that? What we want is to be left alone. Every time you show your faces, it is we who suffer. It's all right. I'm sorry. Hmm. Thick. Just leave us be. This is our home, and this is where we will stay. Sid told us this wouldn't be easy. They'll come round. If you say so. We should go. Yeah. That night five years ago, we Bitch. destroyed what for Cuts many was a symbol of hope, for a reason they'll never know. We cannot blame them for thinking us the cause of their misery. We have a commercial break time coming up after this cutscene, by the way. Oh, it's to give them a better tomorrow. They see only that we've made their lives harder today. Yet the boil must be lanced if it is to heal. I can't help but wonder if we've made the right choice. When Sid said that he wanted to create a world where we were free, free to choose our own path. I honestly don't think it mattered to him if that choice was right or wrong. Only that it was our own. I miss him. <laughs> a world where we can live and die as equals. That's what he wanted. What we want. Dude, I still can't believe they killed off Sid, man. Chosen to bear his legacy. And I'm not going to let anything stand in our way. Rides over, lovebirds. Home sweet home. <laughs>
Okay. Home sweet home. Tactical tank, thanks for the 19 months. Otto was asking after you. Let's go and see him. Frick, never a dull moment. Finish with that log so we can call it. Otto will want to know what happened in Kostnis. Otto! Hey, boy. He'll be in the mess. <laughs> We go talk to Otto, he's just a pothead bus driver. Oh, Hortense, keeper of the stores. Clive. Is everything alright? What kind of name is Hortense? Dude, look at this, by the way. Look at the, dude, just look at the atmosphere, dude. Look at the environment, not atmosphere. Look at the atmosphere. <laughs> Guys, look at the atmosphere. Look at the environment, dude, it's insane. I'm playing on performance, by the way, people keep asking me. Okay, so this is our new home base. Oh, there's Guts. Clive, you, What's up, you Guts? You, you I don't care. Oh my gosh, Karen is still here? Well, don't just stand there gawping. I'll let the others know. Oh. There you are, Clive. Can you level up your gear? Yeah. Word of your adventures arrived this morning. Victor sent his thanks. Oh, yeah, I need to go to Blacksmith. I will. <laughs> I doubt Kupka will miss the fools he sent to catch me. Not a single one of the bearers we saved showed any interest in coming with us. No one seems keen to join hands with an outlaw. Any news while we were away? None worth mentioning. Gav's still off keeping an eye on the Republican army. Should be back any day now. Understood. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the map room. Still can't work that one out. There must be better places than the hull of a gutted airship to bury your nose in a book. Yet this is where she's chosen to be. And I'm sure she has her reasons. Next cutscene. I eat. Trust I'm not intruding. Back from your mission? I'm beginning to think your habit of surviving cannot be attributed to luck alone. One might say the same of you, Vivian Ninetales. I'll have you know that only four attempts have been made on my life, and none was especially memorable. So, to what do I owe the honor? Could it be that you've come for one of my lessons? <laughs> Is that so hard to believe? Very well, then. Shall we start with the state of the realm? To absolutely no one's surprise, she finds herself at the mercy of armies and outlaws. <laughs> well, mostly armies. Though that's not for want of trying, is it, Clive? But the real question is, how did we get here? Long though Sambrex dominion over northeastern storm has endured, recent days oh, have seen the blight to rest Lord. ever more land Story. from her grasp. For which reason she has continued to wage war on her rival across the strait, hoping to claim less blackened pastures. But Odin would sooner pawn his sword than Walud relinquish Ash. Odin. And the Empire pays dearly for every blade of grass bent beneath Sambraqua boots. Little wonder, then, that Sylvester set his sights on the Crystalline Dominion, an altogether easier target, possessed of no less ether. It was five years ago, while you were busying yourself with the destruction of Drake's head, that the Empire made its move, Drake. subjugating its theretofore neutral neighbor, a nation which could legitimately claim to be the center of the world. Certainly, there is no better place to stage an army. Chad, are you guys looking? There, the Holy Empire's reach spans the twins. The non-aggression treaty was the only thing keeping them in check. But if they truly broke the pact without provocation, it is only a matter of time before others reply in kind. The Holy Empire, the Dalmechian Republic, the Kingdom of Walud, Walud. and of course, our friends yeah, in the My house is slanted. 
Who will be left standing, I wonder, when the last drop of blood is spilled? Okay, so big you battle. Into big, big war has been going on. Do you not fear for your home? Oh, dark clouds are wont to gather over the Dominion. Yet, in spite of it all, she has ever endured. And when the storm has passed, I am confident she will remain. Now, as to the matter of payment for today's lesson, complete a simple errand for me and we shall consider ourselves even. Even? Right. Return this volume to old tomes in the shelves. Tell him it was um, adequate. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to visit our resident historian. Sick. Oxymerx, what's up, dude? When is Severoth showing up? Uh, he's in the DLC. Yeah, oh yeah, Blacksmith, 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 blah, 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 blah. Will this game have DLZ? Uh, yeah, it's gonna be the Severoth DLC. No, I'm just, I don't know. Play the remake sometime? I've played the remake, it is incredible. This is the best game that's come out RPG-wise since the remake. And the remake was very good. I love the remake, in fact. But this is probably better. I mean, I I think this game is better so far. And I and I love the remake. It's also a little bit different because it is a completely new story. You know, we'll see. Yeah, dude. I am gonna play FF7 remake again though. Whenever um, I'll play FF7 remake again whenever. Um, that is a name I have not heard for a long time. So long, in fact, I had half forgotten it was. I lost my train of thought. Welcome. Oh, well, whenever time. Rebirth comes out, I'll play it again. You were missed, as always. I believe this belongs to you. Vivian asked me to return it. Ah, this is your book with a key icon. Ready. <laughs> Our resident scholar devours books faster than young Tet does lemon tarts. Would that I could do the same. But alas, I no longer possess the necessary constitution for such indulgence, either in words or tarts. That said, I have Her continued my Hippocrates. search for mention of the creature you encountered. At Seventeen Craigstead. months hope to but see you this year for Arkansas versus the great Texas for Texas. Of Oriflam or the Dominion, I regret that I have been able to find little and less. I am sorry. Thanks, Kayla. Please. Don't apologize. I do gotta go to an Arkansas game, hundred percent. See if they can't furnish you with more books. I fear it is not more books that I require, but the right ones. Mayhap we look in the wrong places. There are still libraries to the north. I'll see what I can do. You are too kind. There are not many in this world who would indulge the whims of a tired old historian. Not too tired to go filching Kubo nuts, though. Always got a pocket for him. Nix him off the Moogle. Hush now. We all know there's no such thing as Moogles. <laughs> the twins seem well. Aye. Yet they laugh far too little for one so young. The loss of their parents weighs heavy on them. However well they hide it. Titan took much from us that night. From some more than others. And the wounds that remain. They are not quick to heal. Which is why we must give them all the time they need. That we must. Just as I must give you the time you need to recuperate. Good day, Clive. Good day. Gav will be back soon. I should get some rest while I can. Cool.
Not back a blink and you're already off solving everyone's problems. It looks good, Clive. Goes well with the scowl. I'd had that brand for so long. I'd forgotten what life was like without it. What it was like... to be myself. And it's all thanks to you, Taya. The scalpel did most of the work. Ah, before I forget, a rider was here with a letter Does she have a mark on her face? Also left it on your desk. Not a stolen. So, right. did they... I'll have a look. Did I miss it? Did they explain why he's not branded anymore? What could Gav have thought worthy of a letter? Once the hall's swept, it's over to the tavern. Chat on my jackass. <laughs> what does Gav have to say? <laughs> the Republican army is on the march, leaving Randala in Hugo Kuka's charge. With him and his men occupied with the defense of the capital, they're less likely to trouble us. Good news, then. It's more than that. This is our chance, the one we've been waiting for. But look how far we've come. All that we have here, our friends, the hideaway, are they not cause for joy? Five years. Five long years. If I could only command this power I've been granted, we might have achieved so much more. But each time I reach for it, it's like something is holding me back. Summoning an icon exacts a price not easily paid. Your body knows this only too well. It's merely trying to save you from yourself. And every burden I cannot bear falls to you. This mission of ours has made me question everything I thought I knew. But one thing has become abundantly clear. The crystals take more than they give. In exchange for momentary comfort, we must endure a lifetime of pain. War after war, loss upon loss. Now they rob us of our very homes, leaving naught but dust and ash. But you're trying to change that. We are trying to change that. And to me, that's no burden. She has one glow on, like Michael Jackson. I know, but... Try not to forget. We're only here because Joshua gave us a second chance. It would be a pity to waste such a precious gift. He did. He was there. It wasn't an illusion. I heard him call out to Ultima. If Joshua is still alive, he'll be looking for that, that thing. Is an Ultima a car? No, that's an Ultima. Do you think he will ever come back? I know he will. And we must be ready when he does. Why does the main character look like an underwear model? To a world without mother crystals. It's, the, the game's Japanese. So everyone is just overwhelmingly handsome and beautiful. As games should be. Look, as a man, if I do not have self-confidence problems at the end of playing my RPGs, then I don't think it's a good game, okay? I should feel bad about myself with every step I take. Joshua! And 
so the North is lost. I knew that the blight spread ever more swiftly, Your Grace. But this... This is far, far worse than any could have imagined. I was just about to ask, where's Joshua in all this? It's only a matter of time before the twins are no more. The world marches ever closer to its end, and here we chase shadows. Thanks Damn for the dawn, right. you guy. Are our efforts in vain? A moment, if you... Uh, my apologies, I didn't mean to... intrude. Not at all. Uh, we were just discussing strategy. Speak freely, Otto. It's Martha, from the inn. She's gone missing. Anyway, I'll be in the mess when you've finished. Very well. would make Martha leave the rest. Something has happened to Martha. We need to speak with Otto. Speak with Otto. What is this? Wall of Memories? The Oath. Created the day Clive pledges allegiance to Sid. This crystal shard transfixed with twin daggers is a powerful reminder of a promise made, a friendship forged, and a legacy inherited. Do we ever get an explanation on how Tortal is still alive? Yeah, wait a second. Tortal is at least 18 years old as a dog, and a big dog. How is that even possible? Big dogs don't really last that long. It's a fantasy game. I just, look, I know it's fantasy, but I want, I want some degree of realism in my fantasy. You're wondering what this new board is behind me, aren't you? All in good time, my furless friend, all in good time. Thank you, Moogle Nectar, for talking to me, and I'm able to understand your beeps. What do we know, Otto? Some lads from the Imperial Garrison in Rosaria Dark died. I was joking. a fight over at Martha's Rest. Blood was spilled. Bones were broken. The usual. But somewhere in the middle of... I was of talking to a Moogle while I was Martha making that joke, guys. Without a word to anyone. And that ain't like her, Clive. Something's not right. You think this was planned? Of course it bloody was. Ever since Eastpool, the Empire's been tightening its grip around the Duchy's balls. They've strung up everyone who's ever set eyes on a runaway, claiming they're traitors to the Holy Throne, conspiring to restore the House of Rosfield to power. I know it sounds like the bastards have turned their attentions to the poor bearers weak enough to stay put. Naturally, old Martha could see the way the wind was blowing, complained that it was getting harder and harder to wind take wind. bearers in. And now she's missing. She is missing. If she's fallen into the hands of the Empire, we could be next. A couple of curse breakers are already on their way to the inn. They should help speed up the search. But if this is as bad as I think it is, you might end up having to save their asses and all. Their asses and all. Don't worry, Otto. Chad, are you guys sure going to eat TwitchCon? Yeah, they did actually do a good job of making Clive uh, feel like he actually did age. Chad, I will go to you, TwitchCon, if you guys go. I kind of feel obligated to go. Paris, no. Vegas, yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, I saw a hentai lord at uh as I saw I saw a hentai lord at last TwitchCon, I remember. Yeah, if you're a chatter and I see you into at TwitchCon, I always get excited because I'm like, oh I've seen you in chat. Yeah, I saw a hentai lord at last TwitchCon and I was like, oh yeah, of course. Of course. I didn't even read his badge, I just looked at him and I was like, this guy's hentai lord, hundred percent. A hundred percent. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, frick. Did I leave? Uh, it looks like I leave town. Okay. Game recognize game. I'm not a hentai person. I'm not a... Whatever. I'm... Let's play the game. Aside from the holes in my hull, everything's roses. The lake water doesn't agree with it, then. That's one way of putting it. And unless you got some grand scheme to suck the black from the lake like we do in the atrium, that slurry will keep eating away at the timber like young Tech does our lemon tarts. <laughs> this guy's voice is great. I suppose a coat of pitch might stave off the rock for a moon or so. Assuming we had any pitch, which we don't. Not any bloody more. Doubt the old tub's got more than a dozen runs left in him. Uh, someone finds some pitch. Of course, Obelus. Your skiff is our only means of reaching the mainland. Well, I'm glad someone round here sees it that way. To make pitch, you need pitch trees. Now, well, I'm not so unkind this isn't as main to ask quest. you to fell a faraway forest and lug the logs back here to the mere. And it just so happens, I once heard the thorny pitchers of Curl Tail Falls cover themselves in a sticky wax to trap birds and beetles and whatnot. Might be enough to tide me over. Sounds easier than felling a faraway forest. That's for certain. Cock and ball. Wait, this, the name of this quest is Cock and Ball? Did you guys see that? Are you kidding me? The name of this quest is Cock and Ball. Dude, Square Enix, are you kidding me? What? Slay thorny thistles at Kirtle Falls. Unbelievable, dude. Actually unbelievable. Whoa, hold on, listen to the beginning of this one. Listen to the beginning of this song, chat. Did you guys hear it? You listen to the first like three notes of this song. Listen, listen. Did you hear it? What did that sound like? Am I the only one who heard it? Maybe I'm the only one who heard the thing. It, it sounded like Kakariko Village and Link to the Past. Legend of Zelda? Yeah, 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 exactly. Like. Easier than felling a forest, I said. Trees don't have teeth. Nice, okay, there's the full magic bird. Oh, the whites? Oh, 
drive. Slain. I can't imagine Obelis needing any more than this. Time to head home. Deliver the pitch. Do you have any time fast traveling that little distance? I'm not big on violence, but it look cool frick. Dude, I'm telling you, Cad, this game is unreal. Like, unfreaking believable. Like, I. I th there's literally not enough good things I can say about this game. I'm, well, I guess, you know what? Chat, you guys want a critique? You guys want a criticism? I think the side quests are not that good. I think the side quest, the side quest could be better. But finish with that log. Are side quests ever good? Uh, yeah. Then again, well, that quest was called Cock and Ball, which actually increased wax. the find is one way of putting it. For that. Hand over the pitcher wax. A sticky substance found in the pitcher of a carnivorous plant which thrives in the wait. Hold on. So I had to go to the thorny hills to get a pitcher wax of a, sticky, of a sticky substance for a quest called Cock and Ball. Ugh. Reeks like a chocobo's ass. <laughs> oh, I don't suppose the Argo will mind as long as he stays above the waves. <laughs> Argo. Okay, I take it back. Has Side quests are great. I didn't know. Yeah. Same as me old man. He was a ferryman himself back before the blight came. The boat's all I have left of him. And thanks to you, he'll sail another day. Wait, Badge of Might? Look at that. Badge of Might plus one. Ooh, increases attack by 12. Wait, can I, can I stack two of them? Increases Burning Blade damage. What is Burning Blade? Big damn. So Thunderstorm is on one target. So let's look at the rest of our abilities. We got Ramu. Ramu, Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, um. We have 1059. Lightning rod. Oh, cursor, my bad. <laughs> I looked at Janet and Janet my mouse. Here we go. What happened here? Come on. Someone set up us to find the others. We're best off staying where we are for now, I reckon. Wait, this is the village from five years ago. The garrison might still be nearby. Let's get you to a physical, shall we? Sid? What said you'd be coming? I trust you don't mind. Also thought you might need some help. And it appears he was right. You, uh, could say that, yes. 
They're saying the Imperials ascended like a storm. No one was spared their fury. Martha tried to step in and calm things down, but... All our efforts got her were a pair of iron shackles and a hard march. Any idea where? Judging by their tracks, they headed towards Sorrowwise Bay. To the Abbey, sheltering Martha's bearers. The bastards. Jid and I will go after them. You take care of the people here. We will. But, um, before you go, one of the locals heard something. He said the soldiers were talking about a culling. I don't know how big this is, but it doesn't sound good. Be careful out there, Sid. You do the same. Guy's voice? Yeah, dude. Dude, you missed right. Sid, man. That was no tavern. You want to talk about Giga Chat voice? A message. But a culling. Bearers are the property of the Empire. The garrison wouldn't have the authority to act alone. The orders would have had to have come from higher up. You mean the Lorax guy? Wait, dude, Sid, was that the guy from the the L'Oreal Paris commercials? Like blind justice. When two interesting streamers stream, I can watch Up multiple ahead. streams at the same time. Is that weird? No, I think there's a lot of people that watch multiple streams at the same time. Martha, they you try hurt? to. If it doesn't Don't lag worry out. Don't about me. It's them at the Abbey who need you. You have to do something. Tell us what happened. What happened? The damn Black Shields, that's what happened. The Black Shields? The bastards caught wind. The abbot and I were helping bearers. They were gonna hang us both. When the sick rose from their beds. Poor souls turned on the Imperials. Distracted them long enough for me to get away. Then, they may still be alive. Martha, do you think you can make it back to the inn? Cole is there with the other curse breakers. I think so. Thank you, Clive. Black Shields. Do you like the NPC's so immersion? I do. Look, there has only ever been one order of Shields in Rosaria, and they fought to defend all her citizens. Seems a step too far, even for the Empire. <laughs> Dude, I'm hitting like almost. I'm hitting like too hard. I feel like. Does that sound weird? Oh, I didn't realize how much lower level than me they were. Yeah, you're right. Lightning rod. How does the lightning rod work?
dude. I think I just found out a sick combo. Coming for the public is out right now. Get my money, but can't not Joe. I've been there a long time ago. Where'd you go? Are we too late? There might still be someone inside. I thought you lot were all spent. Murderers. They drove the bearers to this. Wait. These two aren't turned. Ugh. That bitch of an innkeeper must have sent them. Colluding with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offence. And for their crimes shall they be punished. Such is the law. The to law. dwell in darkness. Dude, his armor looks purge so cool. The night and welcome lasting dawn. See, like, that's what freaking paladin armor these should look are like. swords, we swear. How dare you speak those words? Have you no honor? Clive. This won't take long. Okay. Set that up. Maruda! Maruda! Yeah. over the couch. This is nuts. Dude, this is crazy. Ah, uh, man. Man, this is crazy, dude. Dog freaking stole my kill. Is all of them? I think so. I didn't see the abbot. He may still be alive. Game of the year, Fuck. game of the year, 100%. The abbot. And Costello. Dude, they're all dead. Dude, they literally kill off everybody in this game, man. The bearers died protecting him. Calling upon what little magic they had left in their bodies. Clive, he's breathing. We're friends of Martha. We're here to help. Are the Imperials dead? They are. Every last one. If only that were true. <coughs> the black shields will return. The cuttings will continue. Rosaria will never be safe. Unless we 
save her. Tell Martha to beg Sid's aid and tell her this wasn't her fault. I... I shall. Sid! Still smoking old Colgan. Where are you? Sid! In here! We found a survivor! Clive. He's gone. We've laid the abbot to rest, but the bearers, they didn't need to die like this. No, they didn't, but it was their choice. They knew the fate that awaited them and chose to meet it on their terms, fighting for those who fought for them. Martha said they rose from their beds, threw themselves at the Imperials so she and the abbot could escape. I've gathered the bearers' remains. We should consign them to the tide. There's a drawbridge not far from here. Redux jump. The currents there are swift. If the abbot were still with us, he'd have taken the dust there himself and performed the casting. I'll get someone to... I'll do it. Of course. Cole and I will remain here and see to the Imperials. So everybody's dead, chat. The case for most of this game so far is people just keep dying. It's actually wild how much they're killing people off. They kept mentioning this at the live event that we went to. It was like, they constantly were mentioning, yeah, this is, you know, we got a lot of inspiration from Game of Thrones, so I'm not, uh, I'm not surprised. <laughs> what? Ari man? Wait, what? What is this, a bounty? It says bounty 5,000. Notorious mess. Every now and then, Clyde may encounter creatures larger, faster, and more ferocious than most. While flight is always an option, defeating these notorious marks can earn him not only renown, but also rare materials that may be used to craft new gear or upgrade existing items. Okay. Spotted us, Torgal. What am I saying? Of course it has. It's a first time all. Too slow. Uh, this looks like it's a this looks this looks like a bad. Precision dodge times four, nice. Nice, big parry. Precision dodge times seven, dude. Okay. Uh, I, I that combo. I screwed that combo up. Precision dodge times 10, dude. Nice try. 
Precision dodge attempts. 13, dude! That's a lot of damn, dude. That's a lot of damn. Too slow. Let's try. I'm 16. I do. I've never done a combo like that. Nice, dude. Nice, dude. Dude. Times 16 precision dodge, dude. That is insane. What was that? Mikey from Monsters, Inc.? It was, actually. Yes, it was. It Mikey's cousin. Coming. Nice! Uh, we're doing Trash Talk... Dark Souls Relay. We're gonna do a Dark Souls Relay at my house, but it'll be on Soda's channel, and then I will stream Final Fantasy before and so after. So shall the waters cleanse thee of thy burden, and bear it out to sea. I hope so. What of the Imperials? A pyre was made. It's more than they deserve. We should go back. Cole is worried about Martha. All right. Let's travel to Martha's rest. Ability upgrade check. Uh, yeah, good point. Let's see. We could upgrade. Upgrade complete. We're best off staying where we are for now, I reckon. Well, we might as well use it. I was like, I'm gonna save it to later, but I forgot. Like, I can just refund if I want to, right? So if I'm gonna just be able to refund, then I might as well let's just throw in lightning rod. No one survived then. Instead of game night, it'll be game evening. Yeah, it'll be game evening. I'm sorry. Before he passed. One of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself. Does it mean I won't? Does it mean their blood's not on my hands? Cole said you cast their remains. That was good of you. But it should have been me. This was all my fault. How? Oh, you couldn't have known. But I did. And I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumors started moons ago. Of black-clad devils descending on villagers in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. But I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. Nothing but a ghost story meant to make folk think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive bearer. And in ordinary times you would have been right. What these black shields are doing is unthinkable. Which begs the question... Why do it at all? My mother obviously has a hand in this. I cannot make sense of her actions. And fam, Ewok, thanks for tier one, dude. And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them. Preferably I need big swords ones. and sandals. If those Imperials think they can come in here again and threaten Any my gifters people, wide they're hard in for to. a Any rude gifters awakening. Wide hard to. Oh, before I forget... A Stolas from Otto landed just before you arrived. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. Then we must as well. Thank you for the five gifted, man. Will you be all right here, Martha? Thank you so much, dude. We can stay longer if you wish. No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up if you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young curse breakers.
Black Blood release. That was really cool. Sick. Thanks, M fam. Thanks a ton for the five gifted, dude. There's a stout soul, all right. Anyone else will be out cold after what she's been through. All right. Turn to the hideaway. It makes every fight you do so freaking epic. Thanks, dude. But none of the curse breakers have returned. Ah, Clive! <laughs> I've missed that scowl. Where's my report? But no kind words for your old pal Gav. <laughs> if it's kind words Gav is after, you're fishing in the wrong barrel. Now sit down. Hey, did Gav fool. did he lose his eye? Does he still does he not have his eye? He's not wearing an eye patch. So, you remember how quick the Empire was to occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head? And how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't think to do it first. Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly the promise of unblighted land and the world's supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. <sighs> and now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. Lined up right outside the Dominion's gates as we speak, looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Ortha. Hmm. Well, the two nations beat their shields. The rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. They'll never see us coming. Oh, I, yeah. it's time we moved on the mother crystals. Is it time? Combat when S fan is driving is so fun to watch. Crystals I've been watching in seven FF sixteen streamers over the last few days. Drake's Thanks, dude. Yeah, I, I appreciate it, man. Drake's fang. Now I'm glad people are enjoying the uh, the way I play this game. Drake's spine in Walud, and Drake's tail here in the crystalline dominion. With the bulk of the Republican army marching to Twinside, Drake's fang will be left exposed. That is exactly the move Kupka would anticipate. And if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. There is one place, however, where nobody will be expecting us to go. Drake's breath. Shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. I have an acquaintance in Port Isolde who may be able to help. Who's that then? My uncle, Byron Rossfield. Lord Byron Rossfield of the Seven High Houses, the trade magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Wait, Rossfield. Rossfield, New Mexico. And you're a Rossfield, of course. Good job, Gav. My uncle's name gave him his start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune. Along with a handsome fleet of ships. Well, as well, I am so good job. What are we waiting for? Eh? I wrangle cattle for a living, so both got screwed in an accident. I was that for eight months? Oh my gosh, frick, man. That's brutal. Dude, working with livestock is just like, I, I went, one of our neighbors had like a farm and, and I went, this is in high school. My dad was like, you need to build character, go help him. So I went and for like a day, I went and I had to like freaking wrangle sheep and rams and stuff and we had to, to hold them again. down. And they were like drawing blood to like test their blood for stuff. I needed his eyes and nose in Dalmechia. I'm not about to let Kupka take us unawares. Besides, he has a knack for that sort of thing. That he does. 
And wasn't it Sid who said that matters such as these are best left to dominance? Especially should one of his beloved opportunities to grow and change present itself. Dude, the, the freaking atmosphere of the, like the music. I always knew that I would return one day. Return to Iron Home. Oh, God. After learning the truth, you were given the chance to face your past. If I am to continue at your side, at your I must side, do the man. same. We will face it together then. To the end. Bloodlines. Okay, here we go. How far do you think your mother's reach extends? Will we find the same tragedy in the south as we did at Martha's Rest? More than likely. Which is why we should hurry. Can you dual wield in this there game? No. But how the combat works? I do like a main hand swing, and then after my swing, I combo it with a with a, with a magic blast, and that's what that magic burst is up top. So it's kind of like I'm going like. Right, left, right, or right. Oh, let's see. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. So, so it is kind of like I'm dual wielding. Right. I'm gaming. I'm gaming. Goblin coin. Thanks to you, I'm gonna get this game in a little bit. Yeah, man. No, I'm uh, I'm glad you like it, dude. Cause this is uh, I'm glad it looks fun. Cause this game is absolutely amazing. The charge, yeah. Mockery of justice is what it is. Lord Elwyn would never have stood for this. Quiet, you. Nothing but loyalists. Jill, look. Yeah, I can't wait to do the full combo. Rosaria must be cleansed of the stain which befalls her, that she might rise once again from the ashes to welcome a new dawn. <laughs> Twould be a pity to make examples of you all for the transgressions of but a handful. Of course, your lordship. You shall have our full cooperation. What business could the Black Shields have in a village this small? There is barely room to hide a bearer. Then they must be here for something else. You fancy pants in the gallows. Fancy pants. Excuse me, but what was all that about earlier? You haven't heard? Someone's been stirring up trouble. There have been attacks on the garrison, supplies stolen. Is this true? AI generated? It a is. Black Shield was murdered. The Empire wants answers, and what the Empire wants, Empire gets. Don't they just? Keep your ears open, eh? The Black Shields will pay good coin for information on the culprits. Good coin. Maybe you turn yourself in and then kill them. 
You'd have to be dull as a That's the plan, dude. To think you could take on the Empire. We're going hunting for outlaws. How'd you like that, boy? Speak with several of the villagers. Ah, oh, here's the another one. You seen him, didn't you? I'm sorry. The black shields. Just now. You what seen what happened him, to your you? video muted in the background? Thanks, Stone. I think it was a black shield. Can't say I ever saw one before. Was this the first time they visited the village? What do you think? Amber's the arse end of nowhere. And they thought we might be harboring firebrands. <laughs> if only we were. I might have turned them in and become a black shield myself. Show myself. You don't think these firebrands the Empire is looking for could be us, do you? I don't know. How'd you get it? But we need to find out. Greetings, friend. We are travelers. I know that. What do you want? <laughs> we couldn't help noticing those Imperial soldiers who were here earlier. Don't you go telling these strangers a thing. I speak for the people of this village, and we have nothing more to say to you. You are to leave Amber and never come back. May I at least ask why? I don't know who you are or what brings you here, but your presence puts us all in grave danger. The Empire is a harsh master. Its demands are great, and it's just as swift. But as long as we keep our heads down and pay our tributes, we are left alone. Some might call it submission, but if it will spare my people the Viceroy's wrath, then I will gladly submit. This village will not become another East Pole. Then we shall be on our way. These people live with a knife to their throats. In the mistaken belief that if they cooperate, my mother will show them mercy. Obedience bought with fear. Are you all right? Sorry, I... It's nothing. We still don't know who the Black Shields are looking for. Well, whoever they are, the Imperials deem them worth pursuing to the back of beyond. But other than Martha, who else in Rosari would have the courage to stand against the Empire? A new ally would certainly be welcome. Can we find them before the Imperials do? Perhaps the next village will yield more answers. Perhaps. This pass will take us through the mountains. I can't put my finger on it just yet. And directly into the path. But it's like Jill definitely knows something. She saw us. She definitely, yeah, like it feels like she knows something. Okay, this is starting to get. It's starting to pick back up a little bit. Let's see. I like how they made me into this fight with five people. Dude, this guy's just getting railed against the wall. The charge is sick, man. Oh, <gasps> blood. Blood. Clive. That was weird. Animation. And still wet. You were told to stay in your homes. The Black Shields. You know who we are. And still, you would bear your steel. 
Why then? We owe you our thanks. You have saved us the trouble of an interrogation. To dwell in darkness, that we may purge the night and welcome lasting doors. On these, our swords we swear. Say that again. I'll show you a true shield, Rosaria. Okay. Here, we're gonna give him the combo. Nice. Mortal blow. Mortal blow. Nice. Have the four times magic burst. Nice. Nice. Dude, I'm owning, man. I'm owning so hard. Tell me what I want to the end will be swift. The stomp. Yeah, the oh, mortal blow. Beautiful. Why, you? We come bearing a message. Come bearing gifts. Your friends have been found. The branded you freed from our camps. <laughs> they await you in Ordeal. Wait, were they... Huh? Guardians of the Flame. <laughs> Those are Old Hill's gates. Then we hurry. <laughs> the slow, the slow death. It's like, uh, it's like Stan's dad. Stan's dad in the Warcraft episode of South Park dying on the mic. It's safer to play through the game, yeah. Yeah, Randy Marsh, dude. Stan. Stan. <laughs> Find something, boy. Death. What? Bro, what? my mother's doing no way but why why would anyone i don't know i never truly understood her dude this, this is legit like freaking war crimes Clive. We won't. But if the Black Shields have made it this far south, they may already be in Port Isolde. Dude. I'm telling you, this game is actually... 
This game is insane. Like, just literally just kill a whole fill like kill the whole village and then tie them up. <sighs> the crows on the bodies. No music playing. Dude, this is insane, man. Yeah, the no music is a great move, to be honest. It like, it, it really like, makes it like hit. We're approaching Buick Bridge. Though I doubt the Empire would let us cross over to Rosalith. Yeah, I never played The Witcher, so I don't know, but but I, I saw a couple people kind of asking if it's like The Witcher, so. Buick Bridge, oh, hello. Didn't happen to come by way of Old Hill, did you? Saw some Imperials clad in black making for the docks just the other day. The next morn, you couldn't see the sun for all the ravens. Yeah, yeah, about that. I did, Mummy. I could hear him shouting from down the road. Hatch, no. You didn't hear nothing. Tell us there's a curve, oh. then refuse us oh. passage back to oh. our homes. We won't survive another night. Passage to the provincial capital is restricted to Imperial Army personnel. The gates are closed. Be gone. Oh They're all Rosarian. But this is their home. Uh, I'm hungry. The Empire would have us live in the Deadlands. This is actually insane. So these are just the survivors from Aldwell or whatever? Don't go thinking you'll find refuge in the houses outside Port Isolde. The place is a wretched hive of thieves and blackguards. The Lazarus. What happened to Yo. this place? My Tell us, think of the 29 months. Well, Zevrod isn't a protagonist. Have mercy. Is he ever, I guess? Voice rinse dogs, they are. You can't ignore us forever. Listen, or we'll die on your doorstep. Better out there than in here. No, then enough for me. I'm the jealous bastards. Those crystals belong to us all. I said, where were you? Dude, this is good. No chance of slipping through unnoticed. We'll need to find another way in. I thought we might be able to reason with the guards. Or at least bribe them. I suspect everyone in that crowd thought the same. Was that the only way in? Officially, yes. Strictly speaking, no. My uncle once told me that the nobles had tunnels built so that they could visit town without having to walk amongst the rabble. The Lazarus. Are you playing on hard? No, this is my first time playthrough. We'll find our way into the city there. Has anybody beat it yet? If you're sure. And the entire place looked abandoned. Do you think it's safe? As long as it is abandoned. The good news is we haven't seen a single black shield since Old Hill. Maybe they found who they were looking for. How many hours in on you? Um, like 14, 15 hours. Game still living up to the demo? Yes, absolutely. It's so good, man. Oh. 
XBI hours, true. This is nothing like I remember it. How quickly a crown can lose its luster. The heck? How quickly a crown can lose its cluster. Or can lose its luster. Abandoned then. Oh, Oi! Visitors! Oi! Visitors! The Peter Apps today? I did have one already. Apologies. We'll show ourselves out. Everybody, man. Oh, what? One guy is sitting here while his whole team dies. Nice, dude. It, I'm telling you, man. I've got the combo. Down. Down. I've only ever seen one man fight like that. And he's long dead. Then perhaps it's time you joined him. The blessing of the Phoenix. It can't be. I was there when you died. Huh? Wait! That's uh um the two soldiers. Forgive me, my lord. I knew not whom I addressed. You have naught to fear from us. No way! Wade! Founder, it really is you. It is. So Wade. No way! <laughs> they both missed the handshake. <laughs> we can speak inside. Wait, didn't you just kill like like eight of his soldiers? Wade dies in this cutscene. And those who <laughs> just, <won't bend> the knee. <laughs> Dude, the way this game is going, everybody is just getting murdered. Wade just dies in the next cutscene. <laughs> Though we didn't go far. And we <laughs> banded together to form the Guardians of the Flame soon after. Alas, there is only so much a handful of aging shields can do against the might of an empire. But... We've seen to it that their stay has been anything but pleasant. Of late, though, we've had our hands full just trying to keep the Duchy's few remaining bearers out of the Imperials' clutches. The Cullings. We saw what happened in Old Hill. Didn't wait till death. Tyler died, died, right? The foul work of the Black Shields and their mistress. Was Tyler the other one? Tyler and Wade? You mean my mother? But it doesn't make sense. Even knowing what I know about her. Her hatred for bearers was no secret, but she wouldn't have been ignorant of their value to the realm. No offense, my lord. But in case you haven't noticed, the Lady Annabella couldn't care less about the realm. That much has been plain since the slaughter at Eastpool. And since granting the Holy Emperor a new heir, her obsession with bearers only seems to have grown. 
As to why, I don't know. Maybe she can't bear the thought of anyone having the power to challenge her beloved son. Her son. So Wade, the Black Shields are broken camp. They march in full force for Buick Bridge. Then so do we. Make ready. This is their main host. If we remove the head, perhaps... Perhaps we can prevent what happened at the docks from happening somewhere else. If I do nothing, then the blood of their next victims will be on my hands. Yours and ours. We too have witnessed the crimes these men who dare call themselves shields have committed in my mother's name. It cannot be allowed to continue. We must put a stop to this madness. We must. So let us go with you. For the good of Rosaria. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Very well. If that is your wish, I would be honored to serve at your side. Nice, Wade's back. Now, I don't remember, did Tyler die? So, Wade. Some days you still. Let us do our duty. With pleasure, my lord. I imagine this endeavor will require more than just our weights. Then let's hope Sir Wade has a good quartermaster. Who's in the one that got burned when they first showed up? Isn't that Murdoch? Ah. Oh, buck up, man. At least you're not dead. I suppose we owe you our thanks. You spared us when you could have just as easily sent us to the mud. Spared us. We'll show them that the fire in our hearts is not so easily quenched. The black shields hope to no You are welcome to what little we have managed to salvage. Meteorite, course, my lord. It has been an honor. We'll show them as much mercy as they did our sisters and brothers in Old Hill. So no better on? Less no, this is a better on actually. Change your There we go. You were right, boy. <laughs> what the hell? I'm petting the dog. I'm petting the dog, and this guy just walks right. <laughs> Jackass. Okay, let's keep going. Tell us then, Sir Wade. What is your plan? Nothing fancy. You, Lady Jill, and I make for Buett Bridge and digging? provoke the main host at their encampment. I was gone like five minutes. Sensing an opportunity to end the guard. I went down and got some water. The Black Shields will call for reinforcements, who will be met from the rear by parties of my brothers hidden throughout the surrounding hills. This will allow us to wage battle on the bridge without fear of being overwhelmed. While the Black Shields have an advantage in numbers, you see, they prefer to fight in small units, which we can use to our advantage. How small exactly? Small enough, now that I have you and Lady Jill for company. <laughs> I doubt I could have done this on my own. But until we arrived, that was your plan. <laughs> You haven't changed a bit. So wait. The bearers from Old Earth have been laid to rest. Very good. Now make ready for battle. As you command. Thank you, Sir Wade. Perhaps now they will find peace. There is but one thing which will grant them peace. Putting an end to the Black Shields. And so we shall. Xerxes, thanks for the 40 months, dude. Party members. Throughout the main scenario, Clyde will be joined by various companions who are keen to learn their assistance hours. Depending on Clyde's destination, they may choose to remain behind at the hideaway. 
What? Am I still in the tutorial? It's telling me about party members. Like, wh how long have I been? I'm, I'm 16 hours still in the tutorial? What is happening? This game, how long is this game we'll gonna be? May the blessing of the Phoenix go with you. Uh, blessing of the Phoenix. How long have you been pursuing the Black Shields? Since they burned their first village. We tracked down the bastards responsible and fed them. Corpses to Stillwind. Suffice to say, that got their attention. It's been a game of cat and mouse ever since. Is this a side quest? I don't think so. So does mastery give it both benefits? Like widens the area of effect and potency. Here, well, we have to test this. So does mastery make it stronger and allows you to assign it to different? Let's test, let's test, let's test. Hello, gentlemen. Why are we sideways? Come along now. The bastard to look here. Let's see There this. they are. On your command, my lord. Don't mind if I do. What is it now? I told you. I told we you. We bear a message for the Vicerine. From the Guardians of the Flame. Ha! You presume to tell us that a pair of filthy vagabonds, a, Nintendo 64. a woman and a dog, could guard aught against the might of the Black Shields. Then come! Die along with your flame! Forest area! Forest area! Alright. Lightning rod. What the whites? Two oh seven. Two oh seven is the number. Are they dead? They're dead. Oh, we're in combat. Damn. Another wyvern to fight their battles. This is what was a regular. Stagger damage, dude. Oh my goodness, that's insane. Dude, oh. I have to play Don't Make Cry, dude. After this, I'm like, I just have to. Farewell. Nice, man. A noble stand, albeit a misguided one. In taking it, you have but proven our point, that this land is in dire need of cleansing. The Dragoon. That's what I played in 14. Harry Potter! Harry Potter! Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, well, never mind. <laughs> so stupid. Ready? Ready for, I'm in a full combo. Ready? Come on, D. 
dude. He's pushing me out of the thing, dude. Sick man, actually sick, dude. Imperial Ling, Dragon Talon, we're right, Sharp Fang, cool. Did you get the sponsor deal? <laughs> I don't see any more. Nor do I. The plan worked. It did. It bloody worked. We sent every last one of the rotten bastards straight to the mud! My, uh, Lord, perhaps this will be enough to stop the Cullings. For the time being, at least. Perhaps. Though I doubt my mother will take this loss well. She'll move swiftly to see her minions' ranks replenished. And then it will all begin again. I often wonder if the nation we once knew is gone for good. Her fields rot. Her people starve. We battle to preserve the flame that was, but for every foe we fell, another springs up in its place. Yet be that as it may, it is still our home, and we must fight for it, as we always have and always will. For as long as the Firebird's flame burns in our hearts, the Duchy cannot die, and her loyal subjects may dream of a day when the Rosarian standard flies over Rosalith once more. So wait, I... Think we should fall back to Port Isolde before the garrison sends reinforcements? A sound strategy, my lord. Enjoy so far? I love it. Love it. My wife just said you look like Chewbacca. Sick. <laughs> Hell yeah. And how long has my uncle been funding you and your comrades' endeavors? Since the beginning. Lord Byron was the first person I turned to after forming the Guardians. And had I known of this tunnel back then, I wouldn't almost have been hanged by the city guard for trying to sneak over the wall. I suppose a formal request for an audience would have appeared suspicious. And appearances must be maintained. Were the Vice Regency to catch wind of Lord Byron's involvement in our movement, they'd seize his estate and send him to the gallows, where he would be of no use to anyone. And so, though it sickens him to the soul, he plays the part of the loyal Lord, knowing that one wrong move might prove his downfall. It is why he remains ever vigilant. Don't be surprised if he refuses you an audience. Especially since you're famously dead. 
Then I will have to think of a way to prove that I am neither wraith nor wrongdoer. I might have something which could help with the latter. It's the mark of the guardians. Display it, and those who love Rosaria will yeah, I was know that where too, your maybe loyalties Lyra, lie. Like... Except the burnt blade, sick. I shall wear it with pride. Shall wear it with pride. Be sure that you do. I don't want my men attacking you again. Unless you deserve it. If only Sir Tyler could have been here to see you. Or the Lord Commander. Thank you, Sir Wade. If there is ever anything you need. I know. Go on now, my lord. Climbs an eagle scout with all the badges, true. Yeah, I was saying the same thing about, about Torgal, like... They could have him be like a Fenrir or something, maybe, at some point. I wonder. I've thought about that, too. How accommodating. Do you really think they believe we are who we say we are? Not a chance. Is that sure? Yeah, yeah. It's like a, I mean, freaking everybody's a freaking icon at this point. All right, I guess my uncle believes we're imposters here to rob him. It means to string us up himself. Imagine my surprise when I was told my nephew had come to visit. <laughs> Clive Rosfield died long ago. And for uttering his name here, you shall pay with your tongue. K-pop dance. You would mock me as well. It is I, Sir Crandall of Camelot, loyal servant to Her Serene Holiness, Saint Sybil the Unshard. Meadow, thou vile sorcerer, for thy crimes against church and crown, I shall have thy head. Curse the infectious flax wench. <laughs> Even in death, must thou plague me still? <laughs> Very well. I shall open the gates of hell that thou might see thy charge once more. This is his uncle. He used to do this with his uncle whenever he was a kid. Bravo, uncle. You're still the finest matter in the twins. Oh, oh, Clive, my dear boy, it's really you. <laughs> You always were fond of that scene from The Saint of the Sanctuary. Never did let me play Sir Crandall. <laughs> so I have a favor to ask Uncle Byron. Rutherford, inform the kitchens. There'll be guests. We dine immediately. But Uncle... You can't very well regale me with the tale of your miraculous preservation on an empty stomach. Go on, sit. Uh, see that you use the good plates, Rutherford. For... 
So you arrived late to one of her cullings, did you? Since becoming Viserine, Annabella has been a constant thorn in Rosaria's side, but these atrocities are a new low. Something has changed. Quite what? I don't know, but the woman we knew is gone, and a monster sits in her place. A monster. For better or worse, I've been charged with governing this town, and thus must maintain the illusion of obedience. That's all I can do to aid Wade and his merry band of revolutionaries. So he's told us. You have risked much for Rosaria. Our nation will be forever in your debt. It has been twenty years, Clive. <laughs> the good the nation your father like and your forefathers fought to defend is no more. Perhaps it would be otherwise had I the courage of my brother. Right, if it's a ship you require, a ship you shall have. I have a galley in port, but recently relieved of her cargo. She can be outfitted for the voyage in a matter of weeks. So you believe us, then? About everything? Believe you? Ha! Only a fool would believe even half of the things you claim. Until tonight, only a fool would have believed my nephew still lived. And besides, I have it on good authority that Clive is telling the truth. Whose authority? On your own, of course. You've always been a terrible liar. <laughs> is that true? There is this song. It's not uh, untrue. Let's say no more about it, eh? It wouldn't do to linger on my nephew's greatest failing. <laughs> the one thing I cannot <laughs> believe though, is all this what? about you being Sid. You were always such a good boy. But now you're quite the outlaw. No, no. Which, if I'm not mistaken, would make me an outlaw's uncle. <laughs> right then, who shall we pillage first? Rutherford, fetch me my <laughs> Dude, the uncle character is so good. This will be fun. <laughs> Rutherford? <laughs> so good. <laughs> The Uncle RP is like he's you. <laughs> Over there. Go on. She's a fine ship, true. isn't she? <laughs> Once outfitted, he does she act like I would like. Sea to trust us in the space of three days. Mm. The uncle's gonna fall off the boat and die here. <laughs> Something on your mind. <laughs> Monsters. This is constantly like you find a new character, you like them, and then they get killed. When I served the Iron Kingdom, I, I did so because I saw no other choice. Because once they learned that the Lash would not move me, they turned it on those who could. So I became their puppet. I let them pull my strings, telling myself it was not my hand that swung the sword, but another's. I removed myself from the truth so I wouldn't feel the pain it caused. And before I knew it, I no longer felt anything. Anything at all. That's kind of like me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I had become a monster. Jill.
Everyone's, it's not actual spoilers, they're just joking. I don't want to be they're a just monster. Joking. They're just joking, Clive. too much. Do you understand? I want to choose a different path, a better path. To live on my own terms. But before I can do that, I need to come to terms with my past. And when you do, I'll be standing there with you, just as you stood with me. Thank you, Clive. I must atone for my sins. Only then, when it's done, will the monster cease to be. Just... Promise me that you won't die with it. No. She didn't this promise. The journey back to Benamir is She didn't say yes. There's much to tell the others. No, she didn't promise. <laughs> Friends, guys. That's his adopted sister. Okay, you guys, why are you guys making it weird? Yeah, that's his adopted sister, okay? We found this out at the beginning of the game. Her family and kingdom was destroyed. Oh, so then her family on. adopted, her, his family adopted her for like a short period of time before the whole events happened. And then the the freaking castle exploded, everything, whatever, Phoenix, Ifrit, all that. And then, then they didn't see each other for 13 years. And then they were reunited. And then this is now five years after they were reunited. After not seeing each other for 13 years. And then after they were adopted sisters for like, adopted siblings for like, I don't know, a short period of time. This is in the Iron Kingdom. But Vivian could probably make an educated guess. Um, where to now? You know what they say, though. Diversity breeds horniness. Huh? I thought this. G I thought. I thought they were saying this game didn't have enough diversity. <laughs> Nobody says that? No, I'm pretty sure Shakespeare said that. <laughs> right, or, or Michelangelo or something. Somebody said that. <laughs> Back again, Lord Rosfield. I'm touched that you should find me such good company. <sighs> it is not your company, but your counsel that I seek on this occasion. <sighs> Ever the charmer. What will it be today, then? The Iron Kingdom. I need to know what to expect. You'll soon be setting sail for Drake's breath, then, I take it. Wait, so, Drake's head, the Drake's crystal breath? that rises from the boiling sea. There was a time when a true-blooded Rosarian had only to brave the waves to visit it. But then the Ironblood made their move. As you know, the Iron Kingdom rules over the islands to the west of Storm. Or rather, its church does. But this is not the pragmatic approach to state religion employed by the Holy Empire to manipulate the masses. No, the Iron Kingdom is the literal embodiment of the crystalline orthodoxy. And so, if one is to understand it, one must start there. As the name implies, the Orthodoxy holds the Mother Crystal sacred, and they do not take kindly to heathens plundering the objects of their worship for the means to fill wash tubs and light lamps <laughs> with here. frivolous feet. Pretty sure here, buddy. Indeed, the faithful consider ether a sinful thing, a poison no less. 
And to them, a dominant is an instrument of evil, albeit one they have proven only too happy to turn against their enemies. Some 80 years ago in Northern Storm, Drake's eye collapsed. Soon after, in pursuit of Aether and with the Blight at their backs, the Northern Territories descended upon the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. And when the Shields of the Flame marched north to meet them, the Iron Kingdom spied an opportunity. A few short days later, the Crusaders landed on the island of Mount Drastanus, home of Drake's breath, and plucked it from the Duchy's grasp. It's so good, Daniel Rosaria Schwartz. Rosaria tried to reclaim it, of course, but to no avail. I doubt more than a handful of duchy men have set foot on its shores in your lifetime. Duchy men. Nor are they like to again, under she the Empire's stewardship. Meaning the Iron Blood will keep their island. And with it, the foothold they need to march on mainland soil when next they spy an opportunity. Still playing hardcore? Wow, I'm... I'm kind of breaking for this a little bit, but I'll, I'll play it. I'll play it again whenever it goes into official of or into beta, official beta. And their gateway to the continent, making Drustinus the holiest of holy play grounds, from which the Orthodox Crusade shall one day sail forth to claim the remaining Mother Crystals, or die trying. My father and my grandfather both traded blows with the Iron Blood. For control of Drake's breath. What's up, Squiggle? Had things unfolded differently at Phoenix Gate, we would have sent our entire fleet against them. But instead, they sent their fleet against Rosaria, sacked the capital, killed the men, and captured the women, including Jill. I'd say you'd be forgiven for wanting a little revenge, Clive. My only aim is to destroy the Mother Crystal. Ben. Thank you all the same. Not much else to do here. Let's see if Jill's ready. Wait, did she move? Oh. I thought I could push the NPC. How's the game so far? Dude, it's been amazing. Amazing. Yes, we've a long time to see you, dude. Good to see you, man. Talk to the Moogle? I did. He just kind of was like. I couldn't tell what he was saying. It will be over soon. You ready? I think so. Jill. When you told me you had to come to terms with your past, you weren't talking about destroying Drake's breath, were you? No. I spoke of Imran, the leader of the Crystalline Orthodox. The man who made me do all those unspeakable things. I'm going to kill him. It's what I need to do to put the past behind me. What I need... to move forward. And I know that I can do it. Do any hunting afterwards? What do you if mean? you're there beside me. Wait, what is happening? Always. And I'll be beside you, too. We'll bring down the Mother Crystal together. It's getting All weird. Sid looks on. We'll make him proud. This is getting weird. Chat, stop kissing each other. How am I the one making it weird? They aren't related. If you're adopted, are you not related if you're adopted? Useful trick. Freezing and throwing the spray to make mist. It's just childhood friends. How did you learn to use your powers like this? The masters made me do it. 
when the Crusaders took to the seas to keep the fleet's movements from prying eyes. <clears throat> I'm fine. No, you're not. This may be the only chance I get to go back. My only chance to put things right. I have to do this. Whatever the cost. All right. She is. The Iron Kingdom's mother crystal. We can't stop kissing each other. No PDA. Drake's breath. Strong currents, sharp rocks, and ether floods. Let's not forget them. So the fuse 24 hour? This island is Probably a not. natural fortress. But nice long But stream. safety breeds complacency, allowing a single rowing boat to slip in unseen. The sanctuary is inside the mountain. If we follow the old trail, we should be able to enter by the back gate. All right. Let's go. I always imagined when I came here it would be to reclaim it. It used to belong to Rosaria, didn't it? Once, though it's been in the Ironblood's clutches for far too long. As was I. For 13 years, this rock was my home. I know its secrets only too well. And once again, his son unwittingly proved to Chad that he was afraid of woman, relationships, and how to interpret interactions between the sexes. I'm not afraid of women. I am aware of Beneath the flood. When they don't guard it anymore. The perfect little shortcut. And I do acknowledge that they exist, as do relationships. But that is this adopted sister. What's the story so far? Uh, it's a lot to explain. Orthax has been doing, uh, he's been editing cut-ups of the game. So you can like zoom through it on my YouTube channel. But basically, this is Clive and you're awesome. Yeah! Okay, ignition. 209. Okay, 209, let me see. So that was with mastery. There, there's, you learn, upgrade, then mastery. Oh, here we go. Okay, so this is just upgrade damage. It's the same damage, so mastery doesn't increase the damage. So the only purpose of getting mastery is if, is if you intend to put it in a different, uh, like, school. Okay. Help me, boy. You're right. Thank you. Big damn. Big damn. Big damn. Okay. 
I guess I should learn to break it. damage let's go dude <laughs> dude i'm cranking man my dude i got the combos down down dude disgusting damage so good man so good Deleted his ancestors, that's what I was going for. Can you put spoiler warning? Even though it's early access now, I've been spoiled. <laughs> True. Oh, look at this place. What a mess. Wait. Asmund did not learn how to Phoenix shift six hours into the game. Okay. <laughs> You've got to be exaggerating. <laughs> it's turned. Nothing is shielded for Zarya. Shut up, you guys are so dumb. <laughs> Just like old times. Be sure to keep clear of his more. Worst breath. Well, yeah, this is a Marlboro. I know these. Don't breathe it in. Yeah, drop the big wheel. You ready? Ignition. To me, boy. I'm saving the limit. I'm saving, I'm saving, I'm saving. Ooh, Perry! Perry God! Precision dodge, precision counter? There you go, limit break. Uh, wait, did I break that? Oh, I didn't even get the final part of the combo on. Twenty, dude, that's my biggest stagger ever, and I even missed part of the combo. It landed right after the. Uh... What the heck? Into the stagger! The unix shoot! This is a kill right here. I'm gonna go lightning rod. Gouge is a kill right here. Big damn, let's go! Marlboro Red! 
Did I straight up skip a phase? Dude, I freaking railed that guy, man. Press on. Yes. Very good at this game. Thank you. Thank you, Rixie. Dude, I gotta play Devil May Cry, man. It's like a furnace in here. We're inside the volcano. You get used to the heat. Though I don't remember it being quite this hot. Was that one cause for concern? It was. Oh. Uh. And they're getting bigger. Something's wrong. Huh? What if they run across and just slide off and they fall in the lava and die against over? Yeah, she's Shiva's dominant. But that would have been a lot. <laughs> that would have been that would have been incredibly useful in, in these fights. Let's not do that again. No, let's not. Drake's breath. We're nearly at the oratory. They made it like Devil Trigger and Devil May Cry, so you're expected to use it a lot. What the hell is that? You. You. I have absolutely no idea. Well, whatever it is, I don't think it's friendly. Red Moose. Staggered damage. This is your dodge, this is your counter. This is your dodge again. Got Will of the White. Dude. I actually think the game's too easy. I think the game is too easy, chat. I think I'm just, man, my skills are just, I'm just railing everybody, dude. It's a freaking rail fest. Mithril miss, myth, 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 mithril, mithril wristlets. Dude, it's been so long since I've gotten an armor upgrade. I've gotten weapons, but no armor. Dude, if I'm going so ham on this, what if I just went more 15% more gouge, okay? 12% more ignition, 10% more rising flames. This is gonna be juice. Okay, uh, can you summarize the story so far? Okay, a couple people have asked, so, so I'll, I'll try and give you a quick summary of the story. Basically, the story is you are Clive. You play as Clive, who is a, um, you're basically royalty. Your dad is the Archduke, right? He's not the king, he's the Archduke, whatever, same thing. Uh, and then you have a little brother, Joshua. Your little brother, Joshua, is uh, he's been granted special powers. They call him the dominant of the phoenix. He's the dominant of fire. 
His, the icon is the phoenix, right? So his younger brother was this. So that means his younger brother is actually the heir to the throne. His younger brother grants, he like marks his older brother, grants him special powers, and he's basically his shield. They call him the shield because his job will be to protect him going forward. And um, this is the beginning of the game. The beginning of the game happens, uh, and then Jill is his uh, adopted sister, basically. Like, their kingdom was destroyed, and, and her family, she was a princess there or something, and then her family uh, was killed. So then the other kingdom adopted her, and she's just living there. As it turns out, King gets killed. King gets killed because of an invasion that comes in, making Joshua the younger brother. He, he, he freaking goes Super Saiyan. He turns into the Phoenix. Um, and because he turns into the Phoenix, uh, there's this big battle. All of a sudden, Ifrit comes out. Ifrit kills Joshua. Kills Joshua. Clive can't do anything about it. He's like screaming, please stop killing him, stop killing him, whatever happens. Uh, yada, yada, yada. Turns out the mom is the bad guy. The mom set the whole thing up and like everybody thought that the Rosaria family was completely killed. And, or the Rossfield family was completely killed. And uh, then you fast forward 13 years later. 13 years later, Clive is like a part of like a, mili like a militia group. People from the old kingdom don't know that he's still alive. Everybody thinks he's dead. And his whole thing is like he just wants to find who killed his brother. He wants to find out who... Uh, was who was Ifrit because everybody thought there was only one icon of fire but there's actually two icons of fire one being the phoenix and one being Ifrit fast forward a little bit more turns out that Clive is Ifrit so Clive is actually the one that was consumed by Ifrit he couldn't control it and Ifrit went nuts and Ifrit killed the phoenix which means that technically Clive killed Joshua fast forward a little bit more Clive runs into Jill who he was separated with before Clive is actually the icon of Shiva uh, and then they meet up with Sid. Sid is the icon of Ramu. Uh, they meet up with, they see Hugo. Hugo is the dominant of, basically you fight all these people, kill all these people. Clive is like the chosen one. He's able to absorb their powers as they die. And you're basically going about your business because the idea is essentially that Sid is the guy who is trying to basically make it to where he's bringing peace. And he really paid attention. Wow, I did. But uh, I'm trying to speed through it a little bit, right? So, so Sid's main goal Sid's main goal was essentially that he wanted to have dominance. Dominance basically had their fate laid out to them. What Sid really wanted is like to, to basically be able to like essentially like choose their own fate as far as like when they live, when they die and what goes on. They want, they, and they didn't really have any sort of like freedom there. Sid wanted basically the dominance to be able to have freedom. That's like what he was fighting for the whole time. Yeah, break the chains of fate. Essentially, yeah. There's a lot to this game. A whole lot to this game, but it's amazing. Sid wanted the Mark Barris to have freedom to choose their fate and death. Yeah, exactly. I was muted for 10 seconds. Can you start again from the beginning? All right, let's just continue. You did a pretty good explanation. Thanks, dude. What the? One of the demons, but they never leave the lava. If I didn't know better, I think this volcano was about to erupt. This volcano is about to erupt. Flame lizard. And this one must be the exception. Precision dodge. Okay, will the likes? Oh, cancel my. Precision dodge times three. Precision dodge times four. Precision dodge times five. Times six. Times seven. This is not gonna be a big. Okay, that wasn't bad. 17k, 17k stagger. Precision dodge times eight. Phoenix shift. Precision dodge times nine.
Nothing good. I'll Overdrive? Oh my gosh, huge. Okay, good. Doggy, doggy, doggy. I made you out of play. Precision dodge? Frick! Swift recovery! Again, prison dog two. Again, three. Frick. Oh, frick. Oh, yeah, I was trying to. That was experimental. Okay, good. Big ignition! Dude, it's just, the combo that I dude, the combo that I put together is disgusting. It's actually disgusting. So much damage. You hurt. I'm just like cruising just through the game now. Thank you. Quite a commotion, our friend made. Let's hope the guards didn't hear it. The gate to the inner chambers is just up there. We're playing with Trevor. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm freaking the one guy that didn't get sponsored to play to this game. This. Can you believe that, Trevor? Before they didn't the sponsor me because they freaking knew I was gonna freaking love it anyway. Yeah, yeah. They gave me early access, but. We'll enter the Comric by the Handmaiden's living quarters. It was always freaking a hive of activity. Sponsor. Sounds like we'll have a hard time staying Frickin out of sight. Frickin' square's too smart, dude. We won't have to. There's someone there I should very much like to see. You know what Square said? Square goes, hey, we sponsored this guy to play Crisis Core for like an hour. He ended up playing the whole game. Why are we gonna sponsor him to play Final Fantasy XVI? <laughs> are we dumb? <laughs> Your old colleagues back from Crown got the sponsor deal. Yeah, that's how it goes. Oh, 
I'm so you really told glad yourself, right? I was told to pump the brakes a little bit. And I, you. I'm like, okay, I get it. I know what that means. Why ever would you risk coming back? Are you a fool, girl? Or have you grown tired of your freedom already? Forgive me, my lady. But I had to come back. There are things I left undone. Tell me, where is the Patriarch? At this hour, he'll be in the Comrick, giving thanks. Thanksgiving! You mean... Oh, fiend! How many hours in are you? We have to get to the about sanctuary. About 16 hours in. Now. No, about... About 18 hours in. Lady Marley, you must flee this place, gather your things, and go. Now listen here, Jill. What's up, Crepsy? We have company. <gasps> this way. Follow this passage. It leads straight to the Comrick. Go on, stop dawdling. Thank you. You were always so kind to me. My light in the darkness. You have to play all the other Take ones for this to make sense. You please. Do. You deserve better no, things. A long and happy life, promise me. Each Final Fantasy is its own story. Wait, she's leaving her? I'll live if you promise to do the same. <laughs> it's an important character, Orphan Come Medicine on, Girl. Clive. Yeah, they never explained what the purpose we of Orphan Medicine Girl with. was. All right. It's seriously like, I just do that whole combo and everybody is dead, dude. Clive, there's something I need you to know. I saw the Patriarch do things no one had to seen. Wow. And so I saw that he would die cooldowns. by my hand. I understand. I faced my demons. The music is amazing. And you must face yours. Yeah, I basically stack it all the way. Okay, so how I'm doing so much damage is each hit, each each singular attack increases the damage multiplier during a stagger. So what I do is, I'll explain the combo. So what I do is I go Will of the Wikes, which is an AOE damage thing around me that I've mastered and I put it into my Garuda deal, my Garuda icon. So I'm using a fire thing with Garuda. I run lightning rod. So I put lightning rod in the ground that essentially does the same thing that Will of the Wikes does, except it's to the point every time it gets hit. So if I hit the rod, it, it makes a static spark, right? But if I'm using Will of the Wikes and I walk into lightning rod, each Will of the Wike hits the lightning rod and it's like, and then also I'm gouging and the stacks the percentage up super high and then pile drive, boom, big boom damage. And ignition does the same thing as these do except with even more damage. So it's literally what happens, it's like 
On top of my weapon hits going, I get one and a half times damage with everything stacked up into a rising flames. I keep calling it flame lash. R rising flames and then a pile drive. Boom! 25,000 damage. It's huge, man. It's so good. Michael Bay right, describes Transformer script. It's not OTK meeting, stop saying OTK meeting. Guys, it's not. Shiva's dominant. Come to beg forgiveness for your failure. Nimrod. I thought you said Nimrod. For years I followed your orders. Fought your wars. All to protect the children you took. Just as you took me. And what did you do in return? souls were sullied with the stain of ether. I merely cleansed them of their corruption. Do, 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 do. The music the is so good, dude. Just as the Holy Mother wills it! Repent, abomination! For a monster like you to set foot in the Holy Cymrich is in itself a crime deserving of death. You're right. I am a monster, and my soul is stained black. Though not by ether, but by the evil of men like you, who made me close my heart and drown in darkness when I should have raged against it. This is my penance. I will be your monster no more, nor will I suffer you to create another. <laughs> Does the beast bear its teeth at its master? Come then, dominant. Rage, be as you have ever been. A monster! And what are you, Imran? I was forced to kill. You do it by choice. But never again. I bowed to you once. Now it is you who shall bow to me. I'm bowing, I'm bowing. Kill them. Now. Right. Dear. Okay, Joshua, wait, wait, wait. Did he just disappear? What? Who's this?
Dude, Jill looks sick in like Shiva mode. Oh, dude, she trans. She okay, dude. She she uh, uh transformed straight up into Shiva. Trying to, he's trying to channel Ifrit. Come on! No! Why? Why can't I do it? No! Ah! Can't get it up. No. He... What, Shiva? What are you doing? Please, just one. The music is playing. Tier 3, 14 months. Precision dodge. Phoenix shift. Whoop, precision dodge time two. Okay. Roll the wikes into a gouge. This is gonna be the big game right here. Big stagger, big stagger, big stagger, big stagger. I don't have the thing. Ignition. It wasn't as good that time, but it's okay. Precision dodge times three. Ah, frick! Got F in the A. I'm, I'm saving my next limit break for the next dagger. Walter. Phase two, phase two. Okay. Uh. Diamond dust. Classic, classic Shiva diamond dust. Go. All right. I won't take long. Okay. 
in! Frick! Yeah, I'm losing my rhythm, dude. There we go. Precision dodge. Lightning rod because he moves too much. I'm waiting on cooldowns a little bit. I'm waiting on cooldowns. Wait on cooldowns, wait on cooldowns, wait on cooldowns. the second one. Okay, that weighs my life right, dude. Frickin' oh my, F me in the A, dude. Which one's the real one? Which one's the real one? Precision dodge! Leg it wyvern. Precision dodge. Okay. Give me a second. I heard toggle. Too slow. To me, boy. Oh, oh, oh. Boy. 
Precision dodge. Parry. Nice. Let's go. Woo. Oh, man, dude. I love it, dude. Oh, I love it. I screwed up like two or three times. They were kind of scary. It was like kind of scary, dude. Oh, man, that was so good. Two liquid flames. Magic hash. Sugar Knight, thank you for the 10 any gifted. Wide heart, dude. Any gifters? Any gifters? Thank you for the 10 gifted, Sugar Knight. Dude, this game is amazing. Amazing, dude. <laughs> Chill. I'm going to finish this, Clive. Yes, this is PS5. Dude, I hope I hope she doesn't die, dude. It's so good. Crystal. It's so good, Farron. What did you do to it? Oh, we destroyed it. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> A monster. Monster. Do you have any idea what you have done? I do, Father. I have killed! <laughs> the monster and become an outlaw may the blessing of the crystals go with you what what it's over it is and Shiva exacted her price she did Again, the burden fell to you. And I bore it willingly. This was a sin for which I had to atone. Now I can continue at your side with my head held high. <laughs> <Don't get married. laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> awkward pause. <laughs> What? Clive, look. It's just like the one at Phoenix Gate. Damn it. We need to leave. Agreed. Why will Joshua not confront him? He's shy.
Maybe it's not Joshua? Now you keep yours. Joshua, Joshua wasn't in a hood anymore. Mm, true, he, he wasn't wearing a hood the last time we saw him. I mean, he could have kept the hood and we just saw him wearing something different. Now, you know what else could have happened? Guess what else could have happened? He absorbed... Oh, wait, there he is. What the hell? Okay, never mind. I'm wrong. <laughs> this way, your grace. <laughs> my my what I was thinking was maybe maybe Joshua absorbed Ultima and Ultima like he was You're like bleeding. Ultima's host and he was like Ultima was will... controlling him. I thank you for your kindness. True. Dude, how come but All I these guys are always coughing up I blood. I survive. Please. Medicine girl. Save your medicines for those who need them most. Oh, well, if you're sure. Let's check the lore. Medicine girl's back. An orphan girl who pays for her bread by making and selling medicines. Josh Rosfield. Dominant of the Phoenix and former heir to the Ducal Throne. Joshua was thought to have died at the hands of the second icon of fire during the disaster at Phoenix Gate. However, he somehow survived. Appearing before his brother once more some 13 years later in the inner sanctum of Drake's head and saving Clive from the ultimate embarrassment by calling upon the power of the Phoenix to seal the being within himself. The Crystal Road. Protected trade route designed to allow easy access to the crystalline dominion for travelers and merchants. An agreement between the nations safeguards the lands around it, known as the Crystal Belt, from military encroachment. And as such, it features neither fortresses nor checkpoints. However, in recent years, it has been overrun with something, but I lost where I was reading. Over overrun with refugees fleeing the blight. An issue that has yet to be satisfactorily resolved. <laughs> I, don't, I like blinked and I lost where I, where I was. Okay. Uh, companion and protector of Joshua Rosfield, the attendant, dominant of the Phoenix. As loyal as she is dangerous, her blade is ever at the ready for any who might mean her master ill, and her tonics ever at her hand to heal the sickly prince's hurts. Joshua addresses her by the name Jote, but it's unclear as whether that's a true name or another pseudo name. For a moment there. It's amazing, Jabba. I felt my brother's presence. You did. I fear he is in Ultima's thoughts again. But why now, after five years of silence? I cannot keep him sealed away much longer. Your grace. No, do not dirty your hands. <laughs> Look at them all. <laughs> Wash the hands, lady. <laughs> like a river flowing to the sea. Or moths to a flame, perhaps. The crystalline dominion, their light in the darkness. More and more lose their homes to the blight and set out in search of sanctuary, while others lose their fortunes to the Dalmechian levies and leave to find new livelihoods. What is it that you seek in the Dominion, Your Grace? Oh, Dion Lesage. You mean the Crown Prince of San Breck? He has many titles Dion the Bold. Prince of Dragoons, Odin's nemesis, or simply Bahamut. I met him once when we were children. He was a chivalrous soul even then, and has served his empire indefatigably ever since. 
And you are confident that he will listen to what you have to say? Our world lurches ever closer to the abyss, and a hidden hand ushers us onward. Ultima's influence extends to every nation, Sandbrek included. If His Highness is the man I believe him to be, and I pray that he is, this truth will da, not da, da, have escaped da, his notice. Da, 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 da. Thanks, Toby, for the 11 months. As the mother crystals fall, the eternal flame wavers and the azure sky begins to bruise. How lucky we were to be blessed by the crystals. And yet how spoiled. Like canaries in a gilded cage growing fat on seed. <laughs> but now the bars are closing in and we must take flight. Painful though it be to leave our home behind, it is what we must do to be free. Which is it that men cannot live without? A blessing that leads to damnation, or a freedom that leads to deprivation? I do not yet know the answer to that question. Do you, Clive? <coughs> Your Grace, <coughs> let us find a place to rest a while. We can return by the Dalmechian Trail once you have recovered your strength. I realize your duty is pressing, but if your health should fail... I know. Thank you, Yota. Sorry. His attempt to breach the Empire's defenses and gain the Isles of Ark has failed yet again. Only because your fleet has proved as impotent as a eunuch on laying night. Would you rather we simply fell back to the capital? Enough, both of you. All here agree that the Empire cannot be allowed to maintain its illegitimate claim on the Dominion. However, our casualties mount with each passing day. There is a literal sea twixt you and your prize. The armies of Sambrek need but sit back and watch as you harmlessly lap against their walls. They are dug in like ticks and seek to draw out this siege, knowing the capital's stores are nigh bottomless. And what of our wise rulers? Goaded into war without any thought as to what chaos it might reap. Republican soldiers starve while waiting for orders from Randalar. If you would but take the field, their bellies would be full by nightfall. If I take the field, so too will Bahamut. And our duel will shake Bahamut. the island to its foundations. Instead of liberating the Dominion, you would doom it to destruction. Unless that is what you desire. Uh, uh, if our learned advisor has a solution to propose, we should be glad to consider it. Whoa. 
What is the meaning of this, Lord Kupka? What it means is that I am disinclined Who's the little boy? to advise you any longer. Ah, the looks on their faces when you walked through those doors. That's her new perfect hair. perfect picture of stupefaction. They could not Henry believe Styles? their eyes. Though I confess, I had my own doubts whether or not you would accept my invitation. Such shocking news. Sid isn't a son of a whore. He's the son of an empress. Your own dear Clive. Absurd. Who fed you these lies? I have never spent a moment among criminals, save at the gallows. I came here with my son. Not to entertain your baseless accusations, but to put an end to the senseless hostilities between our nations. Very well. Yeah, sure. She looks the we same after 18 years. The terms I set out. Sid took the life of someone dear to me, a woman by the name of Benedicta. I swore to take his in turn. This would not be. Disagreeable to you, I take it. You would finally be rid of the stain on your noble name. In return, I will leave Sandbreck in your capable hands. Your Imperial Majesty. for the love of a common whore. <laughs> Dominant or no, one cannot hide one's breeding. I wasn't touching, I was and looking at the green screen. will ever belong Look. with beasts. <laughs> there are greater things in store for you, <laughs> my darling not, Olivier. I was not Soon doing enough, that. She was in the middle of the screen. Prince of Sam Breck. And when your father goes to meet Lost Great Virginia. Gregor, <laughs> you shall be emperor of all you survey. The old order shall come tumbling down. This is a crazy ass bitch. Builds the world in your glorious image. <laughs> Soon. I've done what I can, but the rest is up to you. You need to start taking better care of yourself. <sighs> Understood. And thank you. <sighs> the curse has spread. Make sure she rests. If it hurts, you can tell me, you know. I'll understand. I can bear it. But you shouldn't have to. Not anymore. This isn't just your struggle, Clive. It's ours. 
And when we see how hard you fight, it inspires us to do the same. Or would you rather we left you to save the world all on your own? No. That's not... Ignore me. That's his sister. That is, that, is, that is his sister, his adopted sister. What's wrong? Those areas under attack. You guys... What? <laughs> this isn't the Dalmechian army we're talking about. It's the men of the rock from Drake's Fang. Hugo Kupka's private guard. There is in hell in Rosalith. Trying to batter down the castle gates. She's not even adopted? Looking for me. Seems that way. Reckon old Hugo has finally worked out who Sid really is. Then this is just another trap. Ah, it's a trap, all right. The daddy of all fucking traps. I'm going to Rosaleth. You're not serious. That's exactly what he wants you to do, Clive. Look, I don't know why Kuka harbors such a grudge against Sid. I guess, I guess they only but live. I guess it's left to fester. <laughs> I guess they only live together for like a total of a few months. Peace. He has dragged the rest of Storm into this pointless war just to find me. Beside which, I am not about to stand and watch while my home gets ground into the dirt. <laughs> not on board, you guys are freaking annoying. Hugo Kuka must die. I have lost enough friends to that man already. I don't want to lose any more. So let's go and kill the bastard. Nice. I'm coming too. After all, we're in this together. All right. I should probably speak to Otto before leaving. We need to know what we're getting ourselves into. Gov gave you the news then. Uh, super lost. Check again. Rosalef. But not before I know exactly what's going on. What have we heard? All sorts. Nobody was expecting the Delmax to open up a new front against the Empire, least of all our friends in the provinces. Reports have been rolling in from all over the place, with no two saying the same thing. I've been passing them on to Vivian, in the hope she can make sense of them. If you're set on going, you'll want to talk to her. Understood. If it isn't my favorite pupil. Let's see now, where did we leave? Well, this is a surprise. My lectures are rarely so well attended. Uh, you know what they say? A little knowledge, uh, can't hurt? We are going to Rosalith to deal with Kuka. What's the situation there? <laughs> Whoa there, Lord Rossfield. I'm sure you're champing at the bit to return to your roost, but to fully understand the present situation, one must first understand how it came to be. Let us begin with the story of Hugo Kupka. Here we go, story time chat, story Called time. The permanent economic advisor to the Dalmatian So Hugo is Titan. To give him his formal title. In a republic founded on commerce, there could hardly be a more influential position. It has granted him both extraordinary wealth and extraordinary power. Not that he ever wanted Chat, any cozers? Chat, give me your coziest emote that you have. He is also Dalmechia's last line of defense, a fact he has used to his considerable advantage. 
why he was even able to pry Drake's fang, one of the pillars of the Republic, from Parliament's grip. And he was quick to buy the loyalty of the fang's protectors. Today they are his faithful creatures, a private army in all but name. The self-same army that marches upon Rosarian soil as we speak. By which I mean Imperial soil, not that you need reminding of the fact. Suffice it to say, the Empire's attentions are elsewhere at present, deadlocked as it is with Dalmechia over its occupation of the Crystalline Dominion, where its legions are now gathered. Okay. Scarcely a handful of garrisons remain to secure its western provinces, and half of them left after the fall of Drake's breath. With the threat of the Ironblood thus diminished, they had little cause to fear a maritime invasion. And so today, only a token force guards the former duchy's shores, as Kupka was quick to descry. He landed his troops on the Rosarian coast without encountering so much as a single ship. All for you, Clive. He wants your head. And so he and his men advance upon Rosarian. I don't know why it's sub only. Not I'm to capture literally. the province, but to draw you out. Refresh, check again. You said Kupka's forces sailed up the coast. What of Port Isolde, then? Is the city safe? Quite, according to the Guardians of the Flame. The Dalmechian fleet floated by without incident, but not without remark. When they learned Kupka's forces were making for Rosalith, our friends were quick to begin arranging the exodus of her citizens. And so the stage will soon be set for your heroic homecoming. Alas. It will be a more trying task to enter the capital than it was to leave it. Hugo's men hold Buett Bridge, despite the Imperials' repeated attempts to wrest it back from their grasp. And they were careful not to repeat the Empire's mistake in neglecting their coastal defenses. The seas around Rosalith are firmly under Dalmechian control. So tell me, pupil mine, what do you believe to be the best route to Rosalith? The north. It's so annoying. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know why it went sub only. Across the northern border near Phoenix Gate, then take the road through Stillwind down to the capital. Hardly the quickest route, but at least we won't be spotted. A little local knowledge goes a long way, and so must you. We'd best get a move on then. Oh. Whenever I refresh it, it keeps turning to? back on. I, I've been waiting a long time to give that fucker a taste of his own medicine. I would have missed this for the world. All right. We should be on our way. Lead on.